We start with the case of the missing 13 year old girl from Wisconsin. Investigators say Jamie Kloss disappeared the same morning her mom and dad were found shot to death. Somebody here knows something. 88 days in captivity. And against all odds, she miraculously broke free. Jamie Kloss, Jamie Kloss, Jamie Kloss. She is alive and she will be coming home. I remember hearing the news and thinking, she did it. Another one of us got away. When I came home, my parents were waiting for me. But that didn't happen for Jamie. James Claus and Denise Claus were found dead inside their home. The community said goodbye to James and Denise Claus. Nothing prepares you for being kidnapped, and nothing prepares you for life after. Only a few of us know what it's like. And we need to stick together to help Jamie. My name is Denise Huskins. Katie Beers. Gina DeJesus. Kara Chamberlain. Sarah Maynard. My name is Alicia Kozakevich. I was kidnapped and held captive for four days. Four days. 18 hours. Two days. 17 days. 3,321 days. You've heard the news reports about Jamie but you're gonna hear it as you've never heard it before. Through our eyes. When I first heard about Jamie, I was heartbroken. Jamie survived the unsurvivable. If she is able to look up to me, I can help her in a very positive way. She needs to just keep going. For the first time ever, these amazing survivors are coming together. We want Jamie to know she is one of us. My mission is simple, to help Jamie move forward and heal. So this is where Jamie was held. This is where she was held, in this secluded cabin. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, really. This road, the trees, it's hidden back in this area. Jamie was here, isolated in the basement of her 21-year-old captor's family cabin, trapped in the homemade dungeon he'd prepared specifically for her. My captor had intentions of keeping me indefinitely. In this um, coffin-sized box, there was a chain where my head would be. There were actually handcuffs on either side of this bed. He actually chained me to the wall, so I wasn't able to move. He even threw a party here for his family at Christmas time. He would often do this if people stopped by the home. He would take her downstairs, lock her up, turn up the radio so the people who were at his home also couldn't hear her if she tried to make some sort of a sound. It was like he was following the same sort of sick and twisted pattern that we see in so many other predators. His band would come over and practice and if it wasn't his band, then it was his family that came over sometimes. He would come upstairs and he would tell us to be quiet, don't move. And he would turn up the radio so the other visitors wouldn't hear us. People came in and out of the house and never knew she was here. It's terrifying. You know, it makes me think of the times that I was brought out in public, but because I was veiled and covered, nobody knew anything, nobody said anything. What you're about to see has never been done before. I'm bringing together six of the most incredible, courageous kidnapping survivors to share how they moved forward, what helped them, and to give their advice to help Jamie move forward. Gina De Jesus is one of the three women kidnapped and held captive in a Cleveland house for more than nine years. Katie Beers was kidnapped by a family friend and held in an underground bunker. Alicia Kosakevich was lured online and kidnapped on New Year's Day at the age of 13. Sarah Maynard 
also kidnapped at 13 and tragically witnessed her mother and brother killed. Kara Robinson was taken by a serial killer. Like Jamie, she summoned the courage to escape. And in the most recent case, Denise Huskins was abducted in the middle of the night and held captive for two days. I haven't met most of these women, and honestly, I'm in awe. Anyone here forgiven their captors? Yes. No. No. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference in my healing mm -hmm. and how I move forward. I really don't wish any ill will. With him in jail, he deserves to be behind bars because he can and will hurt people again. I used to hate him. Like, it just took so much energy out of me. So, you're not wasting my energy on somebody that isn't worth it. Yeah, you're yeah. taking your life back. Yeah. I never, ever want to see either of my captors again. I never want them to come anywhere near my family. I never want them to go near any children because I will never forgive the acts of rape. I will never forgive the acts of kidnapping. But I don't have room in my life to stay angry at them. None of us would be sitting here if that hadn't happened to us. This is something that, yes, it's going to make you who you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't define who no, you are. Exactly. It shapes you. It shapes you. Sarah, I think your case is probably the closest to Jamie's. What is your advice to Jamie? Of course we feel days, you know, where we feel hopeless and we want to give up. You know, of course I'm sure all of us feel that way, but we can't. Losing my mother is one of the hardest things in life. You have right. to... My family was huge for me. Yeah. So I, it's just, I can't, I just can't comprehend what you had to go through. And you're amazing and strong. Thank you. I just want you to know that. Knowing that, you know, you can never say mom again. Like it's the worst feeling in the world. They didn't just die. Their lives were brutally taken. It made me become a really strong woman. It made me become a really strong mother. I'm just gonna hug you for a second. Are you okay with hugs? <laughs> just thank you. Thank you. You're a survivor. You're so brave. Thank you. So strong. It's yeah, I'm gonna take one. She has to be the one willing to not give up. I think that's so important for Jamie to know, for her yeah. to hear. I have some of our missing posters, and looking at this poster just reminds me that this girl, she doesn't exist anymore, actually. Gina, what do you feel when you see this poster? That's 14-year-old Gina that won't be able to do this today. Now you're a powerful woman. Yeah. Katie, what do you think when you see this poster? A traumatized little girl. I'm not that same child, I'm stronger. Alicia, that man killed that little girl. He didn't kill me. Finally, this is Jamie Kloss's missing poster. This is a sisterhood that's unlike any other. Let's take some time and talk about helping her move forward. Can you all remember what it was like? I feel that when we're rescued, that yay, happy ending, it's all over. Literally, the newspaper said that. Yeah. Happy ending. Yeah. It's not an ending. This isn't, the book doesn't close and I just vanish. It's hard not to reflect back at what you could have done differently and mm -hmm. not blame yourself. Yeah. A lot of people have asked me, like, why didn't you do this? Like, if they knew what they would actually do, they would kidnap. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was physically chained up, but I was also manipulated and told, you know, if I ran, he'd kill me, he'd kill my family. I ultimately felt like those manipulations were much stronger bonds than the actual chains that I was held with. 